know, this is my woman here, Thor. And she says the ones that work, both men and women spend more time with their work wives or work husbands than their spouse. Mm-hmm. I have so many stories on this one. Too. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fact. And I have witnessed this as, as a power lineman. I've also managed contract crews and watched the folks that are in the designs and the uh, engineering folks. And those are pretty big cube farms. And, um, it's just about a guarantee, and we used to take pools on it. When uh, one of the one of the gals would get a promotion into a new department, it was the clock started before the divorce. Uh, she'd be exposed to men that are higher power than her husband, and it would be on because she spent more time with them. They would go to conferences, this and that, and it's just it is human nature, it's human nature at play, and. Uh, Yes, choices are still involved, but, you know, instincts and emotions are very powerful things. Have you, has, has anybody ever been exposed to the, the cheating being revealed and finally being held accountable for it? And these words come out. I don't know. I just don't know what happened. It just happened. Well, <laughs> yeah, yep, that, that's how it works, right? I don't know. It just happened. So, yeah, um, yeah those are very powerful things. And uh, in the work environment... I, I was very fortunate, Phil, in the power line industry because of the way the harnesses are constructed. It's very painful for a woman because of her uh, femurs are differently put into the hip bones. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, hanging off those harnesses is extremely painful. A woman could do the work. So that's not an issue. But in my environment, because of that and the nature of being in those all the time, it's almost exclusively men. And it is even to this day. Uh, plus, you know, in, in power line work, if you look at these statistics, you know, we actually take more casualties and deaths than police and fire combined. That's inc- that, I had no idea.